Over to Basics here. I'm here with Gavin Reed of NCS Multistage. Gavin, can you please explain your multi-stage tool and how it works? Sure. This is our um, single point fracturing system. It's a, it's a casing sleeve that's ran inside of your casing string, your production string, typically five and a half in the Marcellus and Utica. Um, it's ran right inside the casing. It matches the casing type and the thread type of your uh, casing. And what it does is you submit the sleeve in, and then um, after, after it has time to settle, we come in with our bottom hole assembly that we call a mongoose. It's ran on coil tubing. The sleeve itself really is very simple. It's got four parts. It's got the two ends. It's got an outer barrel and an inner barrel. The inner barrel is what moves. What we do is you go, you run on coil tubing in, into the bottom of the well. The bottom hole assembly has a sleeve locator. It has a pressure and temperature ga gauge above and below our packing element, which isolates you from the previous zone. It then has slips that these slips are what actually are the mechanism for moving the sleeve itself. So what we do is you run all the way to the bottom and the sleeve locator latches into this insert right here. So then once it does that, it catches on the lip. And you know that the main apparatus of the tool, the packing element and the slips are within the inner barrel. You then pressure up, the slips engage the inner barrel and you're able to pull the sleeves, slide the sleeves open which then allows you, you then frack down the back side of the coil tubing then into, into these ports. And then you have the ability to be able to um, close the sleeve back afterwards. You then disengage, move to the next, to the next stage. But you can also close the sleeve back after, before doing so. The, sec, the second group of, of sleeve, s dogs engage, allow you to close the sleeve back, which allows you to limit the... Um, sand flow back into the wellbore. Um, some of the main advantages of the tool are as opposed to a plug and perf op operation where you're going to have somewhere between three and five clusters per stage, three or five entry points into the rock, rock, rock itself. What this allows you to do is it's a single point system. You're fracturing, fracturing each one of those entry points at the same time, which is important when you get into you know, four or five clusters a stage, you're going to have varying um, pressures within the rock at those entry points. So you, you're not going to get a uniform frack all the way throughout the wellbore. What this allows is that as you're fracking your well, well, you can have um, confidence that you're going to use the same amount of sand, water, and energy at each entry point into the rock. Okay. So you're getting a consistent frack. Okay. What kind of pumping rate do you see in comparison to like a traditional plug and perk operation? Sure. Because you're fracking each entry point individually, you don't have to have as much horsepower on location. So okay. in a typical plug and perk um, frack job, you're going to see somewhere between 80 and 120 barrels a minute. This only requires in five and a half, somewhere between 45 and 55 barrels a minute. It's typical. We've got as high on a, on a well last month of, as 66 barrels a minute, which allows you, but, but the advantage of that are, are a couple of things. One, you probably can reduce the type of um, casing that you use. You probably don't need as high end threads because you're going to reduce your, uh, your rate. You also don't need as much horsepower on location. So you can have less frack trucks on location, which means you can potentially start building smaller pads. There's a lot of ancillary benefits to this type of okay. application. Okay, great. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn more about the NCS multi-stage tool and what the future of completions may look like.